Tonight we're here at the Highlander Bar uh, for our first gig back for the uh, freecomedy.com.au organisation uh, that's been staging uh, free comedy shows at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival now and a couple of years at the Edinburgh Fringe. Uh, we've been doing that now for about seven years. Uh, the free show concept, uh, I learned all about it at Edinburgh in 2005, doing the Fringe, where I met a fellow called Peter Buckley Hill. Peter Buckley Hill uh, has started the free show movement at the Edinburgh Fringe. And uh, it's a simple concept. We let you in for free, and then we ask you to pay what you think the show is worth at the conclusion of the performance. The genius of the model is it takes into account that all different people earn all different types of money. So if you put a ticket price on a show and say it's $45, a person who owns $100,000 a year values that show much less than a person who owns $50,000 a year. So when you say come in for free, okay, and uh, uh, put your money in the bucket at the end depending on what you thought the value of the show was, I don't think there's anything more honest as a performer. Uh, and I've done shows where I've said it's $25 a ticket and, it, and it's a different model. But I fell in love with doing this in Edinburgh in 2005. In 2011 I went back to Edinburgh and found out that the whole movement had taken off. There are now 700 free shows at the Edinburgh Fringe. Uh, there's a bunch of different free show models, but the original is the PBH Fringe. The PBH Free Fringe. Okay? It's an income distribution method. Sometimes, one time I did a show and I was holding out a bucket and four students walked past and put in 10p and I thought, oh no, that was a bit of a rip-off. But then an older couple came past and chucked in 20 quid. That happened in Edinburgh in 2014. So what's happening here tonight is for the first time, the PBH Free Fringe have reached out around the world and are putting on benefit gigs to raise money for a little booklet that they publish. Okay? The booklet has all of the PBH free fringe shows in it and it costs a lot of money to produce. And for the first time they've reached out around the world to all of the different chapters of the people who love the free show model and we are putting on the benefit. And this was always scheduled to happen on July the 3rd and we thought this was the best time for us to come back as a group to the Highlander and, um, and start to restart. And, uh, and Blaze is coming over to Edinburgh with me this year to do his first show. Uh, plays what in the in the free fringe? Yeah, at the Edinburgh Festival, there's over 700 free shows where you get in for free, and at the end, you're asked to pay what you think the show is worth. We'll be uh, having a short. We'll be taking a short moment at the beginning of the show to acknowledge the fact that the last time myself and Blaze uh, saw our comedy comrade uh, was three weeks ago, and we'll be uh, acknowledging that. But then we'll be putting on a proper comedy show and trying to raise some money for the PBH Free Fringe. Right. What does PBH stand for? Peter Buckley Hill. Right. Okay. He's the guy I met in Edinburgh. Right. Okay. Yeah. He's, 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 he's an irascible uh, uh, character. Um, he, uh, he's not, you know, he's not loved by everybody, but I think if you're loved by everybody, there's something wrong with you. Right. Uh, but his heart is pure. He has, uh, he, he believes, he believed in a vision and he saw it through. And he's now 25 years into it, and he um, he was very sick last year and couldn't come up to the festival uh, until about halfway through. And even though on doctor's orders he wasn't meant to be on stage, he still went on stage and did a gig. Right. He's a he's a proper in in the in the in the world that we live in. Uh, those of us who don't win logies and get on television and um, you know get nominated for Barry Awards, and we go and do our stuff. And Peter Buckley Hill is one of those guys. He's a beacon for us. And he makes it easy and cheap for us to do the Edinburgh Fringe. And that's what kills most artists, is the cost. And that's what we're doing, is we're helping to raise money. Are you saying there are gigs all around the world? All around the world. What cities? Um, London. London. There's definitely yeah, in London. A bunch of in the UK. Uh, I thought I saw Stuttgart in the list. I mean, Canada? I, yeah, Canada? I think we, yeah, people come from all over the world to perform at the Free Fringe for um, PBH. Yeah, he's the original. Uh, he is the Free Fringe uh, at the Edinburgh Fringe. Um, okay. He's the original, and uh, you, you can check the press release and uh, and see where all the other gigs are happening. I can't okay. quite remember them all because I've had a big so day. So basically, this gig tonight is a special gig that is coordinated 
with a bunch of other gigs around the world Correct. to raise money. And to print a booklet. No, to print a book. Yeah, to help print a booklet and pay for other ancillary costs that come up along the way when you're trying to stage 500 free shows, find venues, you know, make it happen. It's for us, new- raising money makes all the costs for the artists go down. Yeah. Right? You know, because they're going to print the book. Instead of putting that cost onto the artist, which makes it impossible for us to go over. Sure. They do a lot of fundraising, a lot of admin, a lot of grant work. And this year, doing the fundraiser is the first time they've asked us to help okay. along Let me ask the fundraising you, effort. In the comedy pyramid, mm-hmm. what tier of comedian is this kind of activity meant to benefit? Well, the thing is, is that um, that's a that's Sorry. a complex question because what's happened over the last few years is artists like Brendan Burns, Phil Jupitus, just to name two that I can think of off the top of my head, have started doing free shows. Alastair Barry is a big name comedian in the UK. He is doing free shows. The cost to put on a show in a huge venue over in Edinburgh is enormous. The one that I did at the Underbelly. We were, we were 8,000 pounds down before we saw a cent, okay? The, the type of financial risk that we're being asked to take is enormous, and the free show model changes that. It has revolutionised the way that the Edinburgh Fringe has been done. Australia, believe it or not, has been yet to catch on, okay? That's not my fault. I've tried for seven years to show people how to do this, and, 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 and all of the people who have done free shows with me have saved money and not, not risked money, okay? There's a lot of big names who do the free shows because they can't afford to lose the £15,000 that the ticket price that comes with it, okay? I did a show called Shea Guevara on the Fringe in 2005 and we satirised the economic structure of the Edinburgh Fringe and I presented it as a microcosm of the world. Okay? It is a microcosm of the world economy. There were the people like Ricky Gervais charging £35 a ticket to do a massive gig at the Edinburgh Castle, and there were people on the street who had spent £15,000 of their money to come from South Africa just to follow their dreams. The free fringe is not just the people at the bottom. There are people in the pyramid that drop down to do the free fringe because they've worked out it works. Brendan Burns said to my face, I did it, mate! I did it! I've done this show! This guy put 50 quid in the bucket! He's become a convert after doing all the paid venues for so many years. The, the revolutionary effect of what this does to the way we work as entertainers and artists is, cannot, be, cannot be underestimated. And what you need to understand is it's just not dissimilar to busking. It's just like busking, but we do it in a, in a small room with, with a bunch of chairs. Uh, buskers don't give people chairs, so there we go. That's how good it is. The it money cuts the right, cost down to this. Right. Down to this. And the, and the audience. Mm. Last year, I took somebody over to the festival and barely cost them two and a half thousand dollars just by the work that we did. Because the thing is, when you do a free fringe show and it's good, when you do a free show and it's good, they put money in the bucket. You keep it for yourself. All, all the money in the bucket. All the money in the bucket is for you. You take your own financial you mean, risk. You mean for tonight or for the end? Yeah, I mean the money tonight raised tonight goes to the free free. We'll go, straight, we'll go, to, we'll go straight to the PBH account in the UK to help pay for the booklet and other things that they need right. to pay for. 